included. As president of Centralia College, it is my pleasure to welcome you here this afternoon, as well as those watching on television through Comcast Channel 3 in the Centralia area. Welcome to Centralia College's 89th commencement on the Charles Littell commencement field. Centralia College has touched the lives of well over 160,000 men and women who have gone on to have successful and productive careers and who have made significant contributions to society. You as graduates are now obligated to carry on this tradition by taking charge of your lives and making your contributions. Our commitment to you in your pursuit of lifelong learning is that Centralia College will strive to be the best community college in the state of Washington. We will continue to work towards being a driver in the local economy and being the intellectual heart and cultural soul of our community. In light of that commitment, I am very proud to share with you that for the last two years, Centralia College had the first and second highest graduation rates and has the highest average graduation rate over the last 11 years amongst comprehensive community colleges in the state of Washington. Please give yourself a hand. Now, to honor our nation and in tribute to our graduates, will you please stand while Alejandro, Associated Students Vice President, leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Graduates, with the guidance of the Centralia College faculty and staff, you have accomplished great things. You can be seated. Now you are ready to begin the next leg of your life's journey. You have much to be proud of and much to be thankful for in your lives. Please look around you this afternoon and remember your parents and grandparents, wives and husbands, children and grandchildren, friends and colleagues, members of the college faculty and staff and community leaders. They have supported you and you are here and are here to extend congratulations to you for a job well done. Graduates, would all of you that are the first person in your family to graduate from college please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Those of you that are veterans, would you please stand? And thank you for your service. And those of you that are Running Start students and graduating from high school and college, would you please stand? Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I would like to take or to make a few special introductions. I would like to recognize Lewis County Commissioners Edna Fund and Bill Schulte who I understand are here this afternoon. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Mr. Bill Brumsickle was our 22nd Distinguished Alumnus in 1999, and I believe Bill is here too. Thank you, Bill. 
Now this is very special. I would also like to introduce my wife, Pam, and my granddaughter, Maddie, who came down from Port Angeles to be here. Please stand Thank you. and wave. Thank you. <laughs> Maddie just graduated from kindergarten last week. Very, very proud grandpa. And I'm now honored to introduce the next president of Centralia College, Dr. Robert Moorbacher. Dr. Moorbacher, congratulations and welcome to Centralia College, and listen carefully, the oldest continuously operating community college in the state of Washington since 1925. <laughs> now I would like to introduce some of our participants and platform guests. As I call your name, will you please stand and we'll hold our applause until all are recognized. Wilson Kessel, President, Associated Students of Centralia College. John Martins, Vice President of Instruction. Steve Ward, Vice President, Finance and Administration. Julie Ledford Huss, Vice President of Human Resources and Legal Affairs. Robert Cox, Vice President of Student, Surface, so student Services, excuse me. <laughs> Professors Brian Terrell and Pat Pringle. We'll also read the names of our graduates and last but not least, I want to acknowledge our Grand Marshal for her first performance today, Georgianne Copeland. You did a great job. Thank you. Please join me in recognizing these participants. <laughs> Centralia College, Community College District 12, is led by a board of trustees who provide leadership and policy direction to the college. Our college trustees are respected members of our community who have been appointed for five-year terms by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. We are very fortunate to have an outstanding board. Board members, please rise and be recognized as I call your name. Ms. Joanne Schwartz, Chair Chehalis. <laughs> Doris Wood Brumsickle, Vice Chair Centralia. Mr. Jim Lowry, Centralia. Mr. Stuart Halson, Centralia. And Dr. Joe Dolezal, Centralia. Now this may be Dr. Dolezal's last graduation as a trustee. Please join me in thanking him for his 10 years of service. Centralia College is noted for the excellence of its faculty. As it is with all quality educational institutions, we regard our faculty as our lifeblood. Our faculty members are women and men of scholarship and experience who dedicate their lives to sharing their knowledge with others. They continually strive to create learning and growing environments that provide students the freedom to discover their own potential. Each year, Centralia College recognizes faculty members who are nominated by their peers and selected, selected by a committee as exceptional faculty award recipients. Through this award, we show faculty members just how important they are and that we recognize their contribution to our students, our college, and our community. This award was instituted in 1992, and since then, 43 members and former members of our faculty have received this recognition. Would current members of our faculty who have received this award in the past please stand? Yeah. Thank you. This year we are recognizing two members of our faculty, Centralia College Except Exceptional Faculty Awards for 2016 are presented to Professors Karen Goodwin and Carmen Van Tile. <laughs> Karen Goodwin has been an Associate Professor of Chemistry at Centralia College since 2012. She received her Bachelor's in Chemistry and Physics from Cal State University Sacramento in 2006 and her Master's in Chemistry from Cal State in 2009. 
She is the founder and facilitator of the Student Research Capstone Projects. Now in its fourth year, the Capstone Projects are on the cutting edge. They are, first in the, they are the first in the state to offer funding for community college student research projects. Professor Goodwin explained she originally designed the Capstone Projects as an opportunity to showcase her organic chemistry students' research projects. However, she quickly began to see Capstones as a wonderful opportunity to showcase student excellence in all areas, not just the sciences, and has encouraged participation from other disciplines throughout the college. This year, there are over 30 presenters. Professor Goodwin is the Student Science Club Advisor and past secretary and chair-elect of the Puget Sound section of the American Chemical Society. She's the creator of the Chemistry Boot Camp, which allows students to brush up on their chemistry skills in a fun and relaxed atmosphere. I'm blown away by the quality of faculty and staff at Centralia College, she said. The support and encouragement to try new things to enhance our students' experience is amazing and rare at any community college. Carmen Van Tile, Associate Professor of Counseling since 1993, received her bachelor's in education from Washington State University in 1981 and a master's degree in education and guidance and counseling from St. Martin's in 1990. She works with students from a wide range of demographics as a Running Start coordinator and counselor in the College Advising Center. She is a member of the National Academic Advising Association, serves on the College Instructional Council, and is chair of the Advising Steering Committee. Carmen has lived in Lewis County for the past 35 years and is very involved in the ADNA community. I really love working with all kinds of students, explains Professor Van Tile, whether they're a first generation student or a dislocated worker, helping them find what their passions are and then translating that into an educational plan is so rewarding to me. They really do have a chance to make a difference in their lives. Please join me in congratulating Professors Karen Goodwin and Carmen Van Tile. <laughs> now I would like to take the opportunity to recognize outstanding faculty and staff members who will re be retiring and leaving us this year. Each of these individuals have brought honor to Centralia College because of their presence and have been instrumental in upholding the quality for which we are noted. Jim Daniels is leaving from computer science after 14 years. Eudora Carlson from business technology after 22 years. Jamie Baker from the teen program after 23 years. Gloria Price from early childhood education, 24 years. Ruth Holderman, early childhood education, 25 years. Brian Terrell, drama, theater, 25 years. Linda Wilcox, Parenting Education, 26 years. Julian Wilkes, Facilities and Grounds, 30 years. And T Tammy Weinman, Food Services, 33 years. Together, these nine individuals represent over 220 years of service to Centralia College. Please join me in wishing them well and thanking them for their service. When you look at the thousands of men and women who have passed through the doors of Centralia College since 1925, you can't help but be impressed by the, the accomplishments of our alumni. These women and men make a statement by their success that there is quality education occurring at Centralia College. Centralia College's Distinguished Alumnus Program recognizes one individual each year who has achieved success in his or her chosen field and who exemplifies the best and brightest of our students. This year, we have selected Ron Podmore as our 39th former student to receive this prestigious honor. Ron is a 1985 graduate of WF West High School in Chehalis. He started taking classes at Centralia College that fall and earned an Associate of Arts degree in the spring of 1987. He went on to Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., and later earned a bachelor's degree at Western Washington University, a master's degree in education from Lewis and Clark College Law School, and an administrative license from Pacific Lutheran University. In 1999, he received the Golden Apple Award 
from the public broadcasting station, KCTS. He was the first deaf teacher to receive the award. In 2009, he became the first deaf American to achieve National Board Professional Teaching Standards certification. For the past four years, he has been an arts and humanities professor at Bellevue College. In addition, for the last 20 years, he has taught college readiness, science, technology, engineering, and math, and American Sign Language for Federal Way Public Schools. Most recently, he returned to Washington, D.C. to work with the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards Foundation. Each month, he and a team of nine others wrote standards for the rigorous National Board exams. <clears throat> In his free time, he has published two books. He was the authorized biographer to Academy Award-winning actress Marley Maitland, he, was, he has participated in multiple humanitarian trips to Guatemala, working with the Mayan deaf population in the UNESCO village of Antigua. Please join me in welcoming and congratulating Centralia College's 2016 Distinguished Alumnus, Ron Podmore. Thank you for that very generous introduction. It is really a wonderful kind of a strange for me to be back here as part of the class of the 2016 celebration. I also speak American Sign Language, but I've chosen to speak in my voice, which is how I was brought up first. If you can understand me, can I get away from you folks? <laughs> Works for me. Class of 2016 at Centralia College, I'm here to tell you, and you will hear me say this a lot, you are set for success. I see a field of caps and gowns, soon to be matriculated, students squirming. You're waving to your families, taking Snapchats, and I even see you on your smartphones. I commend you for taking a risk spending your time and your money on college. However, this risk, an investment in yourself, and it's also an investment in your future. I'm here to tell you that it is still a very good risk to take. While the road after college may not be an easy one, it is one made smoother and straighter due to the investment that you are making in yourself on this very day. In 1985, I had just graduated from W.F. West High School in Chehalis. The Berlin Wall hadn't come down. There were still two Germanys, a singular Soviet Union, and the number one movie that summer was Back to the Future. Gas at the 13th Street Arco, 71 cents a gallon. There were no smartphones. Tweet was what a bird made. Searching for a word definition meant I had to go to the library here, not an app on the phone. Microsoft was a word that elicited giggles of the small startup that could. My parents and numerous teachers had helped me to realize that I could grow up believing that anything was possible and the only limiting factor was my lack of imagination. Listening and understanding my teachers at high school was always a challenge for me. After all, I used hearing aids and I relied on reading of lips. I barely scraped by academically in high school. I was thrilled when I graduated from high school and I clearly had a mindset of, I'm done. However, after high school graduation that summer, I took off for Europe and I lived with my relatives. Upon returning from Europe, my parents who are in the audience over there My parents loved them, but they gave me an ultimatum. It wasn't quite an ultimatum, but rather it was a very stern warning of you have a choice. You either work in the family business, which was roofing, think hot tar, hard labor, or try taking a class or two at Centralia College. No, was my initial thought. Obviously, the rest of the story at that point, as a young 17-year-old, I changed my mind. My father was not one who took no lightly. 
When I first entered Centralia College, I was not sure what I was doing, let alone what my academic path was. Soon, one class at Centralia College became two, two became four, four became eight, and I began to have that awakening with gentle prodding from various faculty. I struggled in math. I had to take non-credit bearing math courses to move up into the credit bearing math classes. Nevertheless, I got there. I remember a great professor that helped me get beyond the basics of algebra. Mr. Weiser was a former Boeing worker. He taught us quadratics, how to assess the speed, volume, and the FOIL method. He was so special because he would teach us with the utmost of patience and humor. His first name was Bud. Bud Weiser. I discovered that Centralia College had planted within me the belief in myself and the ability to be successful. The very foundation of my career success lies in what I've learned here at Centralia College. Judging by the much larger numbers of students that I see graduating here today, I see the mission is still very strong and vibrant. Graduates, I hope you have experienced all the college has to offer for you to be academically successful. I trust that you've worked hard and you have a sense and an understanding of what your learning responsibilities are. If you have done that, you are set for success. I would like to recognize two students who are in your 2016 graduating class that took hold of the opportunities at Centralia College to plan and to further their education after leaving this great college. Jessica, are you here? I see you. Howdy. I understand that even though you're in the audience and you're not with your graduating class, you will be here again tomorrow to, to participate in a separate nurse pinning graduation ceremony. I learned from your bio that you had a child at a very young age. While you were in the post-birthing room, you were giving strong words of encouragement from a nurse as being one of the best moms there was for you to be for your newborn. I understand that you're now going to continue on with your studies in a nursing program. I hope every day you realize how blessed you are to have a child and that your daughter looks up to you and your efforts to make a better future. My hope for you is that she continues to provide you with the impetus you need to keep going and to further your studies. You're on the right track. Keep up the good work. <laughs> there is a second person in the audience I always want to acknowledge, Jeffrey Gonzalez. Jeffrey, are you in here? Where are you? Please rise. I see you. You have personally experienced significant health issues to the point to where you're on a very divergent path, and yet you have made it here today. Yes, it took you longer, but you have persevered. You have grit. You have determination. You wish to continue in the medical field and perhaps become a gastroenterologist. Is that correct? Wow. With the increasing genetically modified foods and how our bodies respond, I have little reservations for both you and Jessica that you two will be very highly sought after individuals. Keep up the good efforts, even if it takes longer to get your degree. This is your life journey. I wish you both well as you continue on. Can I please have a round of applause for these two as well? <laughs> so where was I? So after graduating from Centralia College, I eventually transferred to another college, earning another degree, and then another university, another college, each time earning a degree. With each passing quarter, my grades eventually got better. I moved from being a Bart Simpson to an almost academic Lisa Simpson. <laughs> in the end, I graduated from Lewis and Clark College, which is a law school down in Portland, Oregon, with a master's degree. To be honest, I thought by now I, have, I would have risen in my chosen career, perhaps a principal or even a superintendent. However, for me, those opportunities were not attainable. I applied for multiple vacancies, but I found that after 30, 40, or 50 applications and the occasional interview, I was not provided with those opportunities. Sometimes I was turned down because a job vacancy was written with somebody already in mind. Still, other times, people viewed me through the prism of my hearing loss and could not see that diversity is a benefit rather than a barrier to any organization. 
And I have to ask myself out loud to the audience with us today, what is it about hearing aids that makes people initially assess me in a manner that is different than wearing glasses? Repeatedly, the rejection became evident. I was not going to climb that ladder in my career. However, eventually in my workforce, I did find success, sort of. I repositioned myself to pursue my passions instead of my career. I wrote and published two books, including being the authorized biography, biographer to Academy Award and the Switched at Birth TV actress Marley Matlin. If you're not sure who she is, she's a deaf actress. She also won an Academy Award for her portrayal in the movie Children of a Lesser God, let's just say a few years ago. <laughs> I found a new sense of direction working in Washington, D.C., helping to revise standards and tests for teachers who wish to pursue national accreditation. If these teachers pass their exams, they're certified to work in all 50 states as a teacher. I've enjoyed that work as well. In essence, I've discovered about myself that if I'm not having those opportunities, I should build and open my own damn door, and that's exactly what I needed to do. And I encourage each and every single one of you to do that if the doors of opportunities end up slamming on you. Even though the Americans with Disabilities Act has been around for over 25 years, we're only seeing periodic token reminders of it. The disabled parking stalls, the gently sloping concrete ramps with raised embedded yellow dots on the sidewalk, the occasional braille on doors, even the sign language interpreters, which I also appreciate very much. <laughs> or this one in particular that I've always wondered, drive up ATMs, and they have the braille for people who with have vision losses printed under the numbers. The ADA is not a perfect law, but it is a step closer to recognizing the merits of people with the range of disabilities. Today, there are many colleges that recognize the value of their disabled students, and they offer services and accommodations for those with various mental or physical disabilities. Anything in a reasonable manner to which they can help provide success, regardless of the student's disabling condition. It is not lost on me that it seems that with each step our country takes towards a more perfect union, we end up taking two steps backwards. Nonetheless, we are making strides. The proverbial glass ceiling of success is only periodically being punched through, and I see more opportunities for students of different colors, different abling conditions to continue the path that I have journeyed with my own success. As the traditional boundaries and social norms change with each passing generation, we see those uncomfortable with or threatened by change, desperately holding tight to the status quo. However, the ideals of diversity have now grown so visible that they are nearly institutionalized. In the class of 2016, I assure you, we are never turning back. <laughs> Seeking success and opportunities is anything but easy you will certainly experience the failure of not getting that job you really wanted, the illness, the accident, or death that changes life in an instant, the rejection and the prejudice, perceived or real. <laughs> Yet just as I have done, you must march forward. Look for other opportunities. As the cliche goes, when one door closes, another opens. Businesses are indeed becoming more inclusive and are taking the lead. A few months ago, the Microsoft Corporation made international news by reaching out to individuals on the autism spectrum. This tells me that corporations realize the value of having a diverse and inclusive workforce that ultimately benefits all. Incidentally, for decades, the Boeing Corporation created a workforce that utilized the skills of individuals who were deaf. Alaskan Airlines, a few years ago, was extremely proactive, and they reached out and hired individuals with low vision and or blindness to work in the reservation call centers. These companies continue to reach and build a diverse and inclusive environment on a daily basis. Today, I continue to live my life knowing that since some doors close, others have definitely opened. If you're ever unsure about your future, your direction, and ability to find a livable, sustainable job, I assure you it will occur. Your best days have yet to happen, and if you're starting to pick up on a particular theme, you are set for success. 
To those in the graduating class who are part of the workforce development program, I applaud you for completing your training here at Centralia College. Many of you in the audience may not know that the workforce education is a partnership between the college and the government working in tandem with business and industry leaders. By providing valuable resources to the students who would otherwise go unnoticed, the workforce's mission is to train and or retrain and offer a new opportunity to prepare for immediate employment in professional and technical fields. There are jobs to be had, even if they are not right here close to home. Your life is made up of multiple scenes from a play. You must take the lead to look beyond your comfort zone of residence. If it's not here, it's going to be elsewhere, but it is out there. If you're going to continue with your education, I applaud you for that. The obstacles as you transition, they are big, but they are not insurmountable. It will not be until you're at the other end of the spectrum of your career, as I am, that you can assess what the changes are both closest and dearest to you. No graduation speech is complete without a word of advice, and of course, I have mine. It might seem simple, but it has power beyond measure. This is my advice. Introduce yourself with the handshake, your name. That in and of itself is nothing. But being able to remember the person's name who you just shook hands with is of great importance. That is what's going to carry you in this concept that we call networking. Many years ago, I transferred to Gallaudet University, which is the world's only university for the deaf in Washington, D.C. I had many opportunities to get out and socialize. One night at a reception at the Lincoln Center in Washington, D.C., I made the mistake of not asking someone his or her name. I went up, started talking to this quiet woman. I eventually invited her over to join me and a group of deaf friends that I was sharing the evening with at this reception. She was genuinely interested in the concept of civil rights for the deaf people. This was in a day before the Americans with Disabilities Act. Inquiring where she was from, what her husband did, she was pleasantly surprised that I had no idea who she was. She was a wonderful lady. She was full of quiet confidence. And when our evening was completed, I shook hands and she shared with me that her name was Coretta Scott King. Eventually, I learned that she was the widow to the civil rights leader Martin Luther King. So moral of the story is, always ask the person's name first. <laughs> it has been nearly 30 years since I've been on this campus, and the changes I have seen as I walk around Centralia College are nothing short of amazing. You guys have a spectacular sense of community and pride. That is clearly evident. I am honored, I am humbled, and I am thrilled to take my place as the 2016 Centralia College Distinguished Alumni. I thank the foundation and the Board of Trustees for this lifelong and certainly unexpected gift. However, most important is I celebrate the achievements of you, the graduating class of 2016. It does not matter where you come from, but you must carry forward a strong sense of confidence to succeed in today's world. It is so important to do your part to help build the bridges of success, not only amongst yourself, not only amongst your team members, but also to acknowledge and be aware of those with sensory, mental, or physical impairments. After all, in life, the only disability is a bad attitude. Jessica, Jeffrey, and of course, the class of 2016. I hope that with my story, you can see that over time, your path will be vastly different from where you've come from. But this I can share you, and I need your help. Can you all help me to finish this sentence? And I think you know what it's going to be. I'm going to need your help because I'm somewhat <laughs> deaf. You are set for. Not quite there. You are set for. You guys are great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Now we're very fortunate to have our own Bailey Peters, Chris Martin, and Nick Martin perform I Won't Give Up by Jason Morrell.
when I look into your eyes, it's like watching the night sky or a beautiful sunrise. There's so much they hold, and just like them old stars, I see that. They've come so far to be right where you are. How old is your soul? I won't give up on love, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you. some navigating I'll be here patiently waiting to see what you find cause even the stars they burn some even fall to the earth and we've got a lot to learn but God knows Someone who walks away so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make Our difference is they do a lot to teach us how to use the tools and gifts we got Yeah, we got a lot at stake And in the end you're still my friend At least we did intend for us to work We didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend Without the world caving in I had to learn what I've got and what I'm not and, and who, who I am. I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up, I'm still looking up. I won't give up on us. God knows I'm tough enough, and we've got a lot to learn, but God knows we're worth it. I won't give up on us, and even if the skies get rough, I'm giving you Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you all. I would like to note that Bailey is the current Miss Lewis County, and we will be participating in the Miss Washington USA pageant in November, along with next year's student body president, Allie Farrell. Bailey is also a published author, and with her latest book, Fancy's Farm Feast, she is donating all of the profits to the Ag in the Classroom Project and a future scholarship. Copies are available in the bookstore and over the canopy. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you, Chris. Thank you all for making, such a, a, making this such a beautiful occasion. Congratulations to each one of you. It now gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening. Michael Smith is a 1964 graduate of Centralia College. Michael played basketball for the Blazers from 1962 to 64, becoming the top junior college scorer in the state with a 22.1 point per game average and making the all-state junior college team. The college inducted Michael into its Hall of Fame in 2007 and named the gymnasium after him in 2013. Following his time at Centralia College, 
He transferred to Central Washington State College, where an ankle injury ended his basketball career. He went on to a successful career in real estate in the Seattle market, being recognized as one of the top 500 mega brokers in the real, of real estate companies in the entire United States. He has also been actively involved in giving back to his hometown community, having personally, personally raised over $500,000 for construction of the Vernetta M. Smith Chehalis Timberland Library, which bears his mother's name, and for the newly constructed Gail Shaw Aquatic Center in Chehalis. Michael has been a great friend to Centralia College and to me personally. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Michael Smith. Thank you, Jim. Wow, what an event here today. I look at a sea of blue and happy smiles. I think you guys are ready to go out and have a bunch of fun. First off, I want everyone in this audience to know unequivocally that I love Centralia College. And I think it only appropriate at this time that we all acknowledge and in the, oh, and today they call it a give it up, and then they call it shout out. In my era of the 60s, it was really simple. It was a stand up or a round of applause. And I just really think it appropriate that we acknowledge President Jim Walton for doing such an outstanding job, his leadership team, his support staff, the Board of Trustees, and everyone associated with this college. The teachers make it happen, and it takes a village. So I would like to ask for, right now, a stand-up, shout-out, let it rip, yell, scream, shout. I want everyone to stand up for a raucous event here to let these people know what a great job they do. Let's hear it. Stand up right now, everyone. Good job. You know, it does take a village, and Centralia College has one heck of a village. As I reflect back on my life, aside from my two beautiful daughters and my sons-in-law and the beautiful grandkids that have been bestowed upon me, I think back about what were the best years of my life. And I think those years were spent growing up in Chehalis and Centralia. There wasn't a worry in the world. My older brother, Orrin, we'd wake up in the morning and the first question asked was, well, what sport are we going to play today? And Orrin would say, let's play football. And I'd say, okay. And then I would say, well, how about baseball? And he said, okay. But every day we both said, let's play basketball. And there was this old barn around the corner from our home our very humble home at 865 Prindle Street. And on this barn, John Finesco, who was a prosecuting attorney at the time, he had this old rickety basketball hoop. Orrin and I would go over there and shoot for hours and hours and hours every day. My mom would scream from 865 Prindle Street, you guys come home for dinner, it would be dark. We would be playing basketball. My older brother, I guess to say succinctly, he taught me how to shoot. I guess that's why I shot the ball so much over at Centralia College. And as a matter of fact, Bob Peters, the athletic director, he came up to me a while back and he said, Michael, he said, you're the only player who has set a record that has stood the test of time for over 50 years. And I said, awesome. You're probably going to ask me now, well, what was that record? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. The record was most shots attempted in a single season. I'm not real proud of that record, but I do want you to know I did make a few of those shots. Little did I realize, though, that uh, April 20th, three years ago, I was going to experience a highlight of my life. And as my younger brother Kevin and I were driving down I-5, 
a light mist of rain, and we rounded, got on Rock Street, and we rounded the corner to head to the gym, and all of a sudden, I heard these sirens blasting and these red lights flashing, and I thought, I said to Kevin, oh my gosh, I mean, there were fire trucks out there, there were two or three police cars, and I told Kevin, I said, I think the gym is on fire. I mean, literally. And there were about 100 people that were standing around yelling and screaming, and I thought, well, maybe someone's hurt, too. And as I got closer, I saw everyone pointing up to the headline of the gym, and it said, Michael Smith Gymnasium. And I thought, I'm at heaven's gate. I'm in shock. How could this happen? My name is up on this gym. And then Jim Walton grabbed me by the arm, took me in the gym. They had a children's uh, fun fest going, uh, going on. There were, uh, the gym was jam-packed with five and ten years old. As soon as we walked in there, they were saying, Michael, 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 Michael. It's all about me, and I loved it. <laughs> then Jim said a few words and up on the podium, and then he took me to a little private area where I found my high school coach, Tom Smith, and my college coach, George Gablehaus, bless his soul, a favorite great friend of mine who's up in heaven watching us right now. And uh, good friends and my brothers. And then I saw Christine Fawcett of the Daily Chronicle in the back, and I said, oh, my goodness, this is for real. That's my name on the gym. Yay. Well, uh, Anyway, I guess uh, the rules here at the college, if your name goes on any building, there has to be a conclusive validation shown that you actually did receive your Associate of Arts degree. So uh, who goes to work on this vetting process? None other than the president, Jim Walton. And he gets up and he talks about it, and he said, I do have to let everyone know that Michael did graduate from Centralia College. But I do want you also to know something else. And this was kind of embarrassing to me. He said that uh, in my vetting, I pulled all the transcripts, and I noticed that he got a C- in one class. It was a personal hygiene course. <laughs> and here are all my friends and my brothers. And I said, this is kind of embarrassing as I got up there. But really, it was kind of rewarding because I figured out that one application of Old Spice deodorant does not last for 30 days. <laughs> and I understood why I never could get a date <laughs> at Centralia College. Anyway, one of the, the greatest honors of my entire life. I'm forever beholden, and I'm also very humbled because I know there's so many other players that deserve to have their name on that gym. A bit about my career. I've been in the real estate business for over 45 years. I'm still licensed today. I've seen a lot of peaks. I've seen a lot of valleys. Quite honestly, I love the peaks a whole lot better than the valleys. Because there's fresh air up there, the sun shines bright, and the views are panoramic. And when you go into the valley, it's like you're in gridlock. It's like you're in a dungeon. You don't even ever know whether you're ever going to get out. But I want you to know in that valley is where you learn more than anything, far and away more than you learn up in the peaks. And I learned a couple things. I learned when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I learned that attitude is not the only thing. It is everything. And I learned that persistence and perseverance are omnipotent. You never give up. When things get tough, you dig down deep and you find out what you're made of, and then you step forward and you go forward. And when you emerge from that valley, all of a sudden a new mountain appears, and you're ready to climb it. So be thankful if you end up in a valley. Take advantage of it. That's what's called adversity makes the man and the woman. A bit about my surgery. You know, life can be unpredictable. One minute you're riding high, not a worry in the world, and then all of a sudden there's a circumstance that takes place, 
and it turns your world upside down. That's what happened to me in August 15th of 2005, six months after I sold my company when I was diagnosed with pseudomyxoma peritonei, which is an extremely rare appendiceal type cancer which afflicts one in a million people in the U.S. per year, which translates to 300 cases a year. My mom always told me I was one in a million. I didn't realize that was the way <laughs> I was going to find it out. Well, the doctors at Group Health, the specialists, they had never heard of this. They did not know what it was. So what did my wife and I do? We went on the Internet to figure out what in the heck they were going to do to get this cancer out of my body. And we found a site that explained. And when I saw it, and I knew the acronym was M-O-A-S. That stands for MOAS, Mother of All Surgeries. I knew I was in for the fight of my life. And I have to tell you, I went into paralysis. I went into depression because I thought I was possibly going to die. And then, about a week later, I saw this Seattle Times article of these two women, some of you might remember, who were driving over Snoqualmie Pass about 10 years ago. And a huge boulder fell down, crushed the car, and killed them instantly. So I said to myself, Mr. Michael Smith, you got a shot. You have to become a warrior. So what I did is I ramped up my workouts from a half hour to an hour. I increased my walk jogs from a half an hour to an hour every day. Uh-oh, this lost my hat. That's not the first time. I listened to CD tapes of how to prepare for surgery. I listened to CD tapes for how to prepare for after surgery. I meditated on a daily basis. I did affirmations over and over and over again. I wanted my body to be physically, spiritually, and emotionally ready to take on the mother of all surgeries. Two months later, I ended up with the two best hands in the world to do this surgery back at Creighton University Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. A word to the wise, don't just go to the local hospital just because you want to be close to home. Get the best surgery possible. My surgery lasted for 12 and a half hours. I went in at 6 in the morning. They brought me out at 7.30 at night. The last hour of my surgery consisted of hot chemotherapy being poured into the entirety of my abdomen, and they rolled me back and forth for an hour just so they would get all the cancer cells that might fall into the scar tissue. They put me into ICU, and one of the things I learned was that the quicker you get up and walk and get your blood circulating, the quicker you're going to recover. So one of the nurses came up, Stan, and asked me, do you want to walk, sir? And I said, yes, I would. I could barely get up off my bed. And I started walking, and I walked, and I walked, and I walked. I walked 20 minutes. They were shocked that I could do that. But my mind was so set, and I was so committed to this, I just walked and walked and walked. Well, the long and the short of it was that I was released from the hospital in five days. And Dr. Brian Logie, my surgeon, he calls me his miracle boy of all times for what I did. And I was deeply rewarded with that because I worked so hard to make that happen. How to become the best you can become. How to find meaning in your life. I went 72 years, I've gone 72 years so far, and I finally figured out the secret of all the ages, and that is to get outside of yourself and to get involved in the community to help those people that are less fortunate and lesser off than you are. The homeless, the battered, the disadvantaged, the kids, the kids, the kids who need us more than anyone. A little bit of help, a little bit of mentorship, a little bit of yes, you can do it, can change a life forever. So making that difference, filling your life with the random acts of kindness, 
to pay it forward at every given opportunity. It brings goodness to the entire world and makes this a better place to live. And I'm going to close now with a little story about a relatively inexperienced engineer who had this dream. He had a vision, a vision to build the longest suspension bridge in the world. And he was young and relatively lacking in knowledge. But he had this dream and vision, and he was following his passion. As soon as this dream hit the news media, all of a sudden, boy, did the naysayers appear. You can't build a bridge across this waterway. The water's too deep. The wind is too strong. The current is too swift. The span is too long. The fog is too thick. But this young engineer, he had a vision. And he took time. He collaborated with other engineers. He collaborated with the US government, who had a pending lawsuit from the War Department, because it would restrict shipping lanes to have a long bridge over this area connecting these two land masses. Well, the long and the short of it was in 1933, construction was started. He obtained the land, he obtained the permits, he moved forward. In 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge opened up. The top at that time wonder of the world in architecture in the entire world. My point is to you today, you great graduates, and congratulations to you so much, is that you can do anything you want to do when you set your mind to it. What your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. Success is not achieving your goal. It's pursuing your goal. It's not arriving at your destination. It's enjoying the journey. So aim for the stars, shoot for the moon, and you will land with many, many successes in your lifetime. And I submit to you today, I wish you ultimate success and a journey filled with abundant love, kindness, and random acts, and making a difference in the lives of others, which is going to make the greatest difference in your life. Thank you so very much. It's my privilege and pleasure to be here. I love you all, and the best to all of you. Take care. Have fun. Keep your sense of humor at all times. Thank you, Michael. That was very inspirational. Now please join me in welcoming Wilson Kessel, President of the Associated Students of Centralia College, who will give the student address. <laughs> when I was told I'd be getting the opportunity to speak in front of you all here today, I was extremely honored but it had me wishing I would have taken Jeff McQuarrie's advanced public speaking class. <laughs> As this day got closer and I had to start thinking of what I really wanted to say, I got really nervous. Was this something that I really wanted to do? About that time, I ran across a quote by Winston Churchill that says, a pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity, but an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. So instead of thinking how nerve-wracking this experience would be for me, I thought, what better way to share an inspirational message with my classmates? See opportunity in every difficulty. I guess I've been up here long enough that I should probably congratulate you all. In about an hour, we'll be graduating as Centralia College's class of 2016. Congratulations. <laughs> with that said, I don't necessarily congratulate you today because you graduated, but for the fact that you finished. Here at Centralia College, we are very diverse in age, socioeconomic status, hobbies, etc. However, the one thing that all of us here have in common today is the fact that we finished something that we started. Too many times, I know we've all seen people that have started something, then for a multiple, multitude of reasons, never finished. All of us, to some severity, inside or outside of the classroom, 
have experienced difficulties that could have given us reason to quit, but we didn't. We overcame those difficulties and are here today, finishing what we started. See opportunity in every difficulty. As we finish up this chapter in our life, it leads to the start of another. For some, that means transferring to a four-year university. For some, it's the beginning of a career. And others, with adventures yet to be determined. Of course, like everything else in life, these opportunities will present us with many, many more challenges. However, when those challenges arise, I want you to recall your time at Centralia College and how rewarding it was to finish something that you started. If you do that, there's no doubt in my mind that you will continue to blaze your own trail and be successful in whatever endeavor you pursue. See opportunity in every difficulty. Opportunities present themselves in an abundance of ways. However, if they're easy, everyone will pursue them. So I urge you to chase the opportunity, opportunity that seems too big because no one ever achieved something great without facing adversity. Nelson Mandela's inaugural address included a quote that says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measure. So don't let the fear of overcoming all your obstacles and actually becoming truly successful stop you because the biggest mistake we can make in life is being afraid to make a mistake. See opportunity in every difficulty. Class of 2016, congratulations. I want nothing more than for you to go out and make Centralia College proud like I know you will. And I know you guys won't remember much what I say from today, but I do want you to remember to see opportunity in every difficulty. Thank you. Well done, Wilson. Each year, one or two students are selected for a special honor. Centralia College students Emily Allen and Lee Taylor have been named to the All Washington Academic Team. Emily and Lee were named to this select team for high academic achievement, involvement in college activities, and community service. Even as a young child, Emily Allen of Centralia loved design, diagnosing, and fixing household items and longed to understand their inner workings. In fact, at age nine, she declared at the dinner table her intention to become a mechanical engineer. She is now actively pursuing that dream at Centralia College, where she is working towards a degree in mechanical engineering. She also serves as a peer tutor for a number of math and science classes as an, and is an active member of the Applied Physics and Engineering Club. She has a 4.0 grade point average. In addition to the All Washington Academic Team Medal, Emily also received the prestigious Coca-Cola Gold Scholar Medallion only given to 50 individuals in the nation. Needing to support his family at an early age, Lee Taylor of Chehalis dropped out of high school to work in the retail sector. Over 14 years, he worked his way into management, but his lack of a high school diploma gave <clears throat> began holding him back. In 2012, he earned his GED from Centralia College. By the time he finished, he was inspired to reconnect with his dream of a college degree and a career in engineering. Lee is currently working towards a degree in mechanical engineering, and he has a 4.0 grade point average. Emily and Lee were awarded their All Washington Academic Team Medals at a statewide ceremony in March, and now will again be honored by Ms. Joanne Schwartz. Please join me in congratulating Emily Allen and Lee Taylor. Please come up. There they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, can it? Thank you. 
please stay here. Every year, the college recognizes a few graduates as outstanding students of Centralia College. Well-rounded students are nominated by faculty and staff based on student commitment to academic success, service to the college, service to the community, and commitment to the values of the college. Identifying recipients is very difficult every year, and this year was no exception to that. This year, four students have been selected as outstanding students of Centralia College. Emily Allen, Wilson Kessel, Ravi Patel, and Alejandro Romero. Can you please make your way to the stage? Our first recipient, Emily Allen, you just heard all about her, but I'll summarize a few of those things as well. She served as a student club leader to the Applied Physics and Engineering Club, supported students as a math tutor, and a science tutor in the tutoring center and in the TRIO office. She was a founding member of the Spike Ball Club, which is a pretty fascinating activity that I learned a lot about by watching them this year. And it's also one of the fastest growing clubs at the college. Emily was one of 40 students chosen nationwide to be a gold scholar. Two 2016 Coca-Cola Community College academic team and was selected as one of Centralia's two nominees. There's no doubt Emily will be successful in her future endeavors. Our second recipient, Wilson Kessel, while pursuing his degree, has served as the Associated Student Body President at Centralia College, served on the SNA Fee Budget Committee. He served as the founding member of the Student Athlete Advisory Council, participated in the Forensics Accounting Club, and has been a participant of our men's baseball team. In addition to his involvement on campus, he's a Gordon Adland Endowed Scholarship, Harry Hill Endowed Scholarship, and Board of Trustees Endowed Scholarship recipient. Wilson's success at Centralia will follow him anywhere his future takes him. Our third recipient, Ravi Patel, serves as the president of Phi Theta Kappa and is a member of the Spike Ball Club. Really cool club. He's a member of the Applied Physics and Engineering Club and the Tabletop Club. He acts as a calculus and chemistry tutor and has volunteered to help at the Knoll and with the speech showcase events on campus. Ravi's student involvement and intellectual aptitude has made him a viable scholarship candidate to some of the top engineering schools in the country pursuing a degree in aerospace engineering. Our fourth candidate, Alejandro Romero, has been an extremely active student leader and is one of those familiar faces that everyone knows on campus. He currently serves as the Associated Student Body of Centralia College Vice President. He's an active member of TRIO the Multicultural Club and the Latino Youth Summit, and he's a member of the Student of Color Conference participants. He's volunteered at numerous college and community events. As Alejandro transitions from Centralia, we will miss his infectious smile. Please join me in recognizing Emily Allen, Wilson Kessel, Ravi Patel, and Alejandro Romero as the 2016 Outstanding Students of Centralia College. Will the graduating class of 2016 please rise? <clears throat> Dr. Walton, Centralia College trustees, these students of Centralia College have, to the best of our knowledge, successfully completed all the requirements pertaining to their specified programs of study. On behalf of the faculty and administration of Centralia College, it gives me great pleasure and pride to recommend these students to you for the presentation of their degrees and certificates. Will the first row of graduates please come forward to receive your degree or certificate? Remaining graduates, please be seated until cued by your usher.
graduating with a Bachelor's of Applied Science in a Applied Management. Honors, David Michael Armstrong, Jr. Bachelor of Applied Science and Applied Management, Roger Sven Lang, honors. Graduating with a Bachelor of Applied Science and Applied Management, high honors, Daryl Craig Otis. Bachelor of Applied Science and Applied Management, Emma Jean Pryor. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science and Applied Management, Haley Ray Norby. Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Accounting Emphasis, High Honors, Jason S. Donahue. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Applied Management, Kayla Marie Coons. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Accounting Emphasis, High Honors, Nikki R. Sprague. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Applied Management, Honors, Justin Thomas Foster. Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Accounting Emphasis, Highest Honors, Elizabeth Lene Chapman. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Applied Management, Diana M. Bustos. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Accounting Emphasis, Highest Honors, Jeremy A. German. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science, Applied Management, Joel D. Annanen. Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Honors, Brandy Lynn McNeil. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science Applied Management, Honors, Krista G. Carper. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Darcy Sue Fisher. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science Applied Management, Highest Honors, Angela D. Keen. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Jade M. DeGuise. Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Austin Isaac Calhoun. Bachelor of Applied Science in Applied Management, Honors, David T. Clary. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Kyle Edward Zion. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Thomas David Swift. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Justin Ray Harris. Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Devin A. Rothmeyer. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, Pierce College Bates Technical Institute, highest honors, Christian A. James. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Associate in Business, Alejandro Romero. <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Diesel Technology, high hey, honors, hey, 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 Derek J. Sawyer. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Bailey Marie Peters. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Highest Honors, Caroline Danette Mouton. Associate in Biology, Nicholas A. Martin. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Craig Nathan Lowry. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Highest Honors, Christopher Lee Martin. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting Tax, Haley M. Kiting. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Devin J. Adams. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting and Tax, Jennifer Lynn Reboy. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Bethany Rose Peterson. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting and Tax, Christiana Marie Anderson, and <laughs> Honors. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting, Tax, Taxes, and Honors, Timothy James Jackson. Associate in Biology, Maya Antoinette Grant. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, Honors, Nicholas Robert Bingley. Associate in Business, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Hannah Rose Etheridge. <laughs> Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting, Tax, Nicholas, Nick, excuse me, Honors, Nicole Adine Music Olney. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Brittany Rose Chaff. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting, Tax, Stephanie M. Deball. Associate in Arts, Ashley Marie Honecker. Associate in Arts, Elizabeth Marie Turbyfeld. Associate in Arts, Jessica Diane Diamond. Associate in Arts, 
Wyatt Philip Ames. Associate in Arts Honors, William Garrett Connor. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Gregory Lee, Gregory Lee Sherrill. Associate in Biology, Associate in Arts, Ronnie Lynn Klein Ruck. Associate in Arts, Alasia N. Medina. Associate in Applied Science, Diesel Employment Equipment Technology, High School Diploma, Preston Donald Calhoun. Associate in Arts, Christy Beth Kletouche. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Highest Honors, Amber D. Sullivan. Associate in Arts, Daryl Lee Shortman. Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Samantha Jo Briggs. Associate in Business, Christopher Scott Pickernell. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Diana S. Falter. Associate in Technical Arts, Administrative Assistant, Andrea R. Werner. High School Diploma, Andrew William Juarez. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Joseph A. Harvey. High School Diploma, Angelica Marie Lozana. Associate in Arts, Criminal Justice, Jessica M. Gleason. Associate in General Studies, Colton Abston. Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Rebecca E. Welker. I will. Associate in General Studies, Hunter Abston. Associate in Applied Science, Energy Technology, Power Operations, Michael Allen Larkin. Associate in Arts, Crystal Sherbeck. Associate in Applied Science, Energy Technology, Power Operations, Bruce James Todd Aldis. Associate in Applied Science, Transfer, Early Childhood Education Honors, Shaden Rose Beaver. Associate in Arts, Rosa K. Araguin Thomas. Associate in Applied Science and Early Childhood Education, High Honors, Ryan Christine Zandecki. Associate in Arts, Brittany Nicole Lyle. Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Certificate of Proficiency, Early Childhood Education, Honors, Giselle M. Murphy. Associate in Arts, Courtney Eileen Dawn Baird. Associate in Arts, Dorothy Lene Schuchtfeld. Associate in Arts, Madison Page Justice. Associate in Arts, Erin Marie McCall. Associate in Arts, Lindsay Kate Rios. Associate of Business, Willard Ellsworth Kessel IV. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Alyssa G. Summers. Associate in Applied Science, Computer Science Technology, Jeannie Marie Chandler. Associate in Medical Science, Medical Assistant, Jenny Ann Bittner. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Rena A. Arthurs. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Yasmin Contreras. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Shirley G. Blankenship, with honors. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Maria Ortiz Hernandez. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Josefa Cruz Gomez. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Andrew D. Irwin. General Education Development, Dalton R. Crosby. Associate in Arts Honors, Zachary Ryan Gonzalez. Associate in Applied Science Transfer, Registering Nurse, Certificate of Proficiency, proficiency Proficiency, that's easy for me to say, licensed practical nurse, high honors, Devon E. Ray Williams. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Alicia P. Henderson. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, high honors, Ashley Starr Bryant. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Bethany Ann, Ann, excuse me, Anna, Ann, Lara. It's contagious. Get it right the third time. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant Jordan Kylie Fuller. <laughs> Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant Jennifer L. Liebelt. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant Sadie L. Rowe. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant Sam L. Stewart. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant Chantel M. Smith. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Matthew W. Shearman. 
Associate in Arts, Mitchell James Carey. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Brett A. Hoover. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Melissa S. Kaywood. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology Honors, Crystal Marie Glenn. Cecilia. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice Honors, Cecilia M. Stalkup. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Eric Cameron West. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Benjamin J. Chikowski. Associate in Arts, Janae D. Wood. High School Diploma, Victoria, Victoria Ann Leach. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Hydrant Christel, Johanna Palmer. Associate in Applied Science, Diesel Tech Technology, Austin David Schroeder. Associate in Arts, Rachel K. McCleskey. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Piper Renee Phillips. Associate in Applied Technology, Diesel Equipment Technology, Honors, Joshua Ryan Overby. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Honors, Luke Ryan Young. Associate in Arts, Elizabeth Bellin Martinez. Associate in Applied Science, Computer Science Technology, Honors, Kayleen N. Young. Associate in Arts, Tabitha Marie Thurman. Associate in Arts, Garrett Young Trotter. Associate in Arts, Ji Wu Park. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Diesel Equipment Technology, Raj Sison. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Autumn Dorothea Allegria. Certificate of Proficiency, Medical Office Assistant, Kimberly A. James. Justin T. Morris, Associate in Business. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Leslie Ann Christian. High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Robert Rubiano. Associate in Arts Honors, Brittany Nicole Dickinson. Associate in Arts, Richard E. Engel. Associate in Arts, Trisha Lee Condos. Associate in Arts, Katie Ann Mitchell. Congratulations, Katie. Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Kathleen Marie Talley. Associate in Arts, Rachel A. Killian. Associate in Arts, Madison Lee Murray. Associate in Arts, Honors, Bree Celine Williams. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Certificate of Proficiency, Criminal Scene Investigation, High Honors, Elisa Marie Smiley. Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Amelia Elizabeth Hausman. Associate in Arts, Honors, Cora Ashley Marie Crawford. Associate in Applied Science, Energy Technology, Power Operations, High Honors, Katera Neve K. Smith. Associate in Business, High Honors, Samantha Francis Turner. Excuse me. Associate in Applied Science, Energy Technology, Power Operations, Honors, Matthew E. Harris. Associate in Business, Brielle Jocelyn Black, with Honors. Associate in Applied Science, Energy Technology, Power Operations, Honors, Tom A. Franks. Associate in Arts, Kylie Rachel Robinson. Associate in Applied Technology, Intertech Energy Technology, Power Operations, Quentin Donald Rhodes. Associate in Arts, High Honors, Anna R. Detre. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Austin David Dratt. Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Alicia Marie Piles. Associate in Arts, Allison Ann Leduc, Honors. Associate in Arts, Renee R. Baldwin. Associate in Arts, Kylie S. Cordry Short. Associate in Business, Jack Duncan McCary. Associate in Arts, Kyle D. Roberts. Associate in Arts, Tanner Allen Therrien. Associate in Arts, Donna Faye Dean. Associate in Arts, Jason T. Brown. Associate in Arts, Certificate of Proficiency, Early Childhood Education, Highest Honors, Tracy Danielle Fallow. Associate in Arts, High Honors, Kayla Shawnee Craig. Associate in Arts, Dana R. Quillen. Associate in Arts, Tiana Reynolds.
Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Jacob Warren Parkinson. Certificate of Proficiency, Early Childhood Education, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Honors, Chara D. L. Bacon. Associate in Arts, Anna L. Valley. Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Michaela May Gordon. Associate in Arts, Kayla Lee Langland. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Janice L. Thomas. Associate in General Studies, Megan A. White. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Honors, Mackenzie J. Tingle. Associate in Arts, Christina Mackenzie Bolt. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Stacy Lynn Lewis. Associate in Arts, Sarah A. Hushagen. Associate in Business, Christina Ong Vermeer. Associate in Arts, Lydia Grace Knudsen. Associate in Arts, Jonathan A. Robles. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma Honors, Samantha Ann Jennings. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma Honors, Christian Scott Burke. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Brandon Richard Orr. Associate in Technical Arts, Accounting, Tax, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Bethany Jean Scott. General Education Development, Alicia Rose Pentecost. Associate in Arts, Tiara Lay Reese. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, High Honors, Chase Charles Smith. Associate in Technology, in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Highest Honors, Patrick Wesley Middlestead. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Mackenzie R. Perez. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Honors, James Edward Bruin. Associate in Arts, High Honors, Sophia Rose Peterson Leffler. Associate in Arts, Mariah Lee Holmes. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology Honors, Brandon James Toby. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, Kirk Alexander Clemens. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, High Honors, Kyle W. McNeil. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Peter L. Oval. Associate in Arts, Chloe Rose Gallegos. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, William Dow I. Associate in Technical Arts, Welding Technology, William Eugene Christen. Associate in Arts, Kirsten Otterness. Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Carl J. Muller. Associate in Applied Science Transfer, Early Childhood Education, Taylor Marie Williams. Associate in Biology, Associate in Science, Associate in Arts, Honors, Marissa Michelle Apperson. Associate in Arts, Jeffrey Jean Gonzalez. Associate in Arts, Sarah Ann Keck. Associate in Arts, Associate in Biology, Akilia W. Leo. Associate in Arts, Honors, My Emma apologies. Jane Bernie. Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Kimberly Sue Jones. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, Highest Honors, Tommy Deanna Ramirez. Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency, Cassandra Ann Klein. Associate in Arts, Brandy Jo S. Hepp. Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency Honors, Jennifer Ann Orchard. <laughs> Associate in Technical Arts, Medical Administrative Assistant, Carissa Ann Guffey. Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency, Brandon M. Peterson. Desiree. Randy M. Peterson, my apologies. <laughs> Associate in oh, Arts, yeah. Desiree Rose Titterness. Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency, Associate in Arts Honors, Catherine M. Allen. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Desiree Betty Warren. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Chemical, Chemical Dependency, Associate in Arts Honors, Alyssa K. Stepp. Associate in Arts, Anna Lillian Davis. <laughs> High School Diploma, Jamie Romero. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Courtney Marie Light. High School Diploma, Marco Romero. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Malia C. Bailey. <laughs> Associate in Applied Science, Electronic, Robotics and Automation, High Honors, Nicholas John Schneider. Yeah, 
Associate in Arts, Tiffany K. Smith. Associate in Applied Science, Electronic, Robots, and Automation Honors, William C. Skull. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Heather and Nicole Hemphill. Associate in Business, Israel Magura. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Honors, Charity Ann Matthews. Associate in Arts, Yasmin Crystal Ramirez Cruz. Applied Science, Associate Transfer, Registered Nurse. Certi Certificate of Proficiency, Licensed Practical Nurse, Honors, Rama A. Mims. Associate in Arts, Mariah Martin. Associate in Arts, Jillian K. Jeff. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, Release. Honors, Danielle Christine Wood. Associate in Arts, Sophia Therese Bell. Associate in Business, Honors, Sorry. Charles E. Ayers. High School Diploma, Chantel Aldrich. Associate in Business, Joseph R. Price. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Joshua Josiah Klosner. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration Management Emphasis, Certificate of Proficiency, Medical Office Assistant Honors, Mercedes K. Williams. <laughs> uh, Associate in Science, Highest Honors, Lee David Taylor. Associate in Business, High Honors, <clears throat> David A. Thompson. Associate in Arts, Honors, Evan A. Kenny. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, Honors, Erica N. Gukin. <laughs> Associate in Science, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Ravi Sunil Patel. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, Carolyn Dawn Smith. Associate in Arts, Andrew Willard Michael. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, Larry D. Deckert. Associate in Arts, Catherine G. Vosberg. Associate in Applied Science, Business Administration, Management Emphasis, High School Diploma, high, Highest Honors, Callie L. Keck. Associate in Arts, Emily Elizabeth Burton. Associate in Biology, Highest Honors, Alicia Yarelli Herrera. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, High Honors, Emily Rose Wills. Associate in Arts, Honors, Lauren M. Wade. Associate in General Studies, High School Diploma, Honors, Matthew R. Fritz. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Honors, Josiah James Corwin. Associate in Arts Honors, Holland A. O'Neill. Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Jason Allen. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Sabrina so Renee Shuey. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Highest Honors, Caleb Justin Allen. Associate in Biology, Ariana Pennington. Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Highest Honors, Emily Ann Allen. Associate in Arts, High Honors, Bryna Mishiko Peros. Associate in Biology, Honors, Amy J. Johnson. Associate in Arts, Honors, Catherine L. Geibel. Associate in Arts, Honors, Courtney Dawn Langer. High School Diploma, Honors, Miranda Leanne Sparger. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Honors, Margaret Elaine Sinclair. High School Diploma, Peyton T. Klein. High School Diploma, Mariah Chantel Taylor. High School Diploma, Dakota Logan Dennis. Asso Associate in Arts, Julia Riviera Mejia. High School Diploma, Kelsey L. Green. Associate in Arts, Abby Duarte. High School Diploma, Tazika Ayers. Associate in Arts, Honors, Diana N. Torres. High School Diploma, Thomas Hamilton. Associate in Arts, Leticia Garcia. High School Diploma, Rebecca Hazeltine Rip. Associate in Arts, Luis A. Abina. High School Diploma, Douglas McClure. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Highest Honors, Bethany Victoria Geringer. Certificate of Proficiency Welding Honors, Jedediah I. Whitehead. 
Associate in Arts, Cassandra Rose Smathers. Associate in Arts, Cameron Levi Johnson. Associate, Associate in Arts, Caitlin Elise Beadle. Associate in Arts, Yudai Sarudo. Associate in Arts, Honors, Eliana D. Barnes. Associate in Arts, Matthew N. Larson. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Olivia M. Koch. Associate in Applied Science, Electronic, Robotics, and Automation, High Honors, Gary L. Landis. Associate in Arts, High School Diploma, Honors, Jordan Marie Vivens. Associate in Applied Science, Electronic, Robotics, and Auto Automation, High Honors, Joseph Adam Cook. Associate in Biology, Associate in Arts, Jennifer Marie Elizabeth Swenson. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Lisa Regina Coward. Associate in Technical Arts, Criminal Justice, High Honors, Colleen Michelle Ayer. High School Diploma, Will Moore. Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant, Nicole Cherry Terrell. Associate in Applied Science Medical Assistant, Monica Ray Montgomery. High School Diploma, Brianna Brown. Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency, Jamie Denise Nitsos. It is my pleasure. <laughs> it is my pleasure to officially confirm that those students have, who have completed pres prescribed programs of study for the bachelor's degree, the several associate's degrees, and the certificates from Centralia College are hereby granted these degrees and certificates by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Community College, District 12. To signify your admission into the academic world, please move your tassels from right side of your cap to the left. Now that you're officially graduated, I want to introduce you to Julie Johnson, the Director of the Alumni Relations for the College Foundation. Hold on to your wallet. Thank you, Dr. Walton. You've worked very hard, and this is the first day of the rest of your life. You've moved from being a student to being a graduate, a proud alum of Centralia College, and it's my privilege to welcome you as new alumni and congratulate you on this milestone. Today is a celebration of the commitment that you've made to move into the next phase of your life, and we hope you will remember fondly the time that you have spent here at Centralia College. We all ho also hope you will stay connected with us and share with us your successes and how your education here has led you on to and impacted your life. One of you will discover the technology that will solve a major disease. One of you will be a hero by trying to save a child. One of you will write a masterpiece concerto. One of you will coach a little league team and take them to the national playoffs. One of you will be a politician and cold call the rest of us. And some of you will return to teach here at Centralia College. Some of you will achieve your dreams some of you will have to come up with a secondary dream. All of you will fail at something. We all do. 
But if you're lucky, you'll learn from your failures, and you'll find your passion, and you'll pursue it relentlessly. So take every, op every opportunity that comes along. Someday you'll look back and have no idea how you got to where you are. None of us fully understand exactly how we have succeeded or why we failed. What matters, though, is what we do with it. At times, we feel like life is a mess. That's both the joy and the sorrow of it. That's what makes it mysterious. That's what makes it rewarding. That's what makes it terrifying. That's what makes it life. Today, we have honored our distinguished alumni, Ron Podmore, and someday, we'll be honoring the accomplishments of one of you as our distinguished alumni. So congratulations, fellow alumni, and best of luck as you pursue your future and your passion. Now go out and rock your world. Thank you, Julie. We're almost done. Centralia College believes in and strongly supports professional development within its own staff. Please join me in congratulating Tracy Fallow from ECAP, who received her AA degree in early childhood ed from Centralia. Nikki Sprague, we have a list. <laughs> Nikki Sprague in grants and contracts. Kayla Coons in financial aid received their BAS in accounting from Centralia College. Anna, Anna Jardo, financial aid, received her bachelor's from Washington State University in criminal justice and sociology. Erin Baker in e-learning received her master's degree in education, learning technology from Western Governors University. Ellen Hinderley in nursing received her master's in nursing from Western Governors University. And Adam Hatfield at Garrett Hines Educational Re <coughs> Education Center received his PhD in linguistics from the SUNY, Southern University, of New no, State University, thank you, State University of New York, thank you. Let's give them a big round of applause and thank them for that. <laughs> now, I just, I just need to share a couple short little stories about a couple of our students who have gone on and done some really pr pretty amazing things. Number one is a former student that many of you had by the name of Sarah Ann Swain. She came to us with absolutely no support from her family. She struggled in math and language and was nearly convinced by some of the people around her that she was a failure. Thank goodness she's tough. She decided to go back to school, but in part because she had no money and because she had heard good things about Centralia College, she came here. And here she absolutely blossomed. After writing what may stand for many years as the longest and best written final paper, for Dr. Suzanne Wild's English class, Sarah Ann graduated with honors from Centralia College, transferred to the Evergreen State College, and she just told me that she just found out she'd been accepted to Columbia University to do graduate work in poetry. A great Centralia College success. <laughs> Rama Mims grew up in Eastern Africa and was forced to flee when war broke out. Escaping death by hiding, she and her family moved from country to country trying to find a home. Finally, the family split up in hopes of finding good homes for each of the children. Rama ended up in America where she vows to give back to her country. She is graduating today as a nurse in the nursing program. Congratulations. And congratulations to our two international students who are graduating this year, including Pak Loon Fergus Lau, Associate in Arts, who will be transferring to the University of Washington Tacoma, and Chung Long Wong, Associate, Associate in Business, who's also hoping to transfer to the University of Washington. I would also like to acknowledge, again, Bailey Peters, who just received the Washington State University Vancouver Presidential Scholarship. Congratulations again, Bailey. Every one of you graduating tonight is special, and I know each one of you has a story that you should be proud to tell. Please don't hesitate to tell your story, because whether you realize it or not, you will be an inspiration to others. Graduates, as you leave us this evening and move on in your lives, you will be facing many big issues an unsettling presidential election, to say the least, global climate change, 
the increasingly increasing need for sustainability, and unfortunately, the unending senseless war on terrorism. These are subjects of concern that no one person is fully capable of understanding. Yet you will be asked to pass judgment and to vote on these and similar issues. I just ask you to use your knowledge that you've acquired to create informed opinions and show your wisdom to future generations. I once again want to thank each of you for joining us to honor our graduates. I especially want to thank Mr. Ron Podmore, Mr. Michael Smith, and our student body president, Wilson Kessel, for speaking this evening. As we look forward to the challenges of the next decade and beyond, you can be confident that we will dedicate ourselves to your success. Those of you graduating today have received our best effort. Those that come each year hereafter will continue to receive that same best effort. Your children, and yes, even your grandchildren, will be proud to be Centralia College graduates. That is my commitment and our commitment to you. Speaking on behalf of the members of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, the staff, and your support team, we celebrate your accomplishments and wish you continued success in your future endeavors. Immediately after the conclusion of the ceremony, everyone is invited to the Student Center to honor our graduates, and the reception is sponsored by the student program. Graduates, as you walk away from this graduation tonight, you begin a new journey. Go in confidence, knowing you have done well, your efforts are appreciated, and remember, be a lifelong learner, constantly look for new experiences and challenges, and embrace life with enthusiasm and goodwill. Your dream has led you to Centralia College. May your new dreams lead you to happiness and success in life. We are proud of you. Thank you for being Centralia College graduates. Thank you all.